Here's a device I built last month. It's a, um, a uh, wrist strap for the hearing and visually impaired. And it basically uses a ultrasonic transducer to send out a signal to find out a distance from wherever it is and sends it back to a microcontroller which processes the signal and eventually um, a cell phone vibrator to send signals to um, a person's wrist. And it's uh, got three batteries for various modes and runs on a, a lithium ion battery that is rechargeable. So it um, is also great on, you know, obviously you don't have to buy battery after battery like you do with some devices. And uh, it's good for a 24 hour usage. Well, and I think it's two hours of charge time to get back and going again. Uh, so I just turn the thing on and I will show you how it works. Um, first, let me just set my camera up and I will get this here and it's um basically you just grab it by the buttons spin it around put the strap on and there you have it and I'll show you how it works <laughs> that's crazy okay so um, the way it works is obviously three buttons starts the whole thing working and as well as turns it off and um, the problem is, I don't think you can actually hear it working because it's a vibrator, right? And I'm getting all these signals in my wrist. Um, what I'll do maybe is if I rest my microphone of my camera right on top of the, um, the transducer here, maybe you can hear it. And as you can see, what I've done is I've made it start off very subtle when it's at its, um, well, I've got it on the first range here, uh, which is uh, 24 inches to 7 inches. So right at 24 inches, it starts off very quiet. So finally you get to the end. And at 7 inches, it turns off because it's kind of pointless to actually have the vibrator going when you know that your finger is touching something, right? So at seven inches, there is no vibration. It's only when you get away. So, for instance. And if I move a little ways from away from it, I won't get a signal because I'm probably more than the 22 inches I've programmed into the first button. That's about, <laughs> that's about 22 inches. That's closer. Okay. okay. Um, this range is not, all that great for looking for things because there's so much space you wouldn't be able to find what you're looking for. But it would be good for things like um, maybe on a countertop. I'll try and get my camera a little bit better. If I went right above the countertop, swept the countertop. Get my camera in the right spot here. I could find glasses and things. And I'm about 18 inches away to find that. And obviously I could find the chair. It's about 18 inches, 20 inches away. But um, the other functions, that was button number one. Button number two is for 40 inches roughly so that's a lot farther that's about one meter for us metric people here but I'll do the same thing with the button or the switch light switch here see right there I know I'm 40 inches away yeah.
There you go. And I can look for things a lot easier. So here are the different pitches between the walls. Because there's a hollow spot that's farther than 40 inches away. But you can do stuff like um, be three feet away from all the chairs. Or like I, I did before, find the countertop. Find the cut. And what else can I do here? Okay, so let's find my way around here. So that's within two feet. It's pretty close. What's a chair doing on the table? <laughs> okay, so. What else can we check here? Um, in the middle of the room there. That's easily found. And let me put on the the which is the twenty two inch range. Oops my cell phone. <laughs> There's a corner of the wall. There's a crochet lamp right here. And it's really a one inch diameter thing. Just a little bit far away. There you go. Um, what else? Okay, yeah, there's three modes. One, two, three. This one is for eight feet. I really only have one eight foot section in my house. It's right here next to the fireplace. So, I'll show you how that works. I'll walk towards that fireplace. There's a space right there too. The big piano. Big space. It's a really close table. way this all turns off. Three buttons. That's just so there's no accidental activation or deactivation. But um, that's how she works. Um, the device is actually fairly simple. Um, let me just move these things out of the way here. And it's something that I think anybody with a bit of electronic skills could build. Um, it has three buttons, a bunch of wires, and a little PC board that um, I know how to solder together. I think maybe other people could. Um, this green component right here, I have um, no skills to build that. That's something that I had to buy, and that's the, um, the sonar 
range finder and I got it off these people right here and it was about $30, uh, $29 I guess and here's an example of what the uh, sonar looks like but it's the um, smallest unit I could find and it's something that I could think would fit inside a pair of glasses if a guy was to shrink this technology down with um, surface mount technology um, and I'll give you some pictures of my programming but that's what goes inside the chip there's really only a transistor um, three resistors a capacitor and a chip on that board and a vibrator and that module and that's about it